I love preparing this first dish, folks, because it's a really great family pleaser. And it's crown. You know, it fits like a king. So that's exactly what we, what we did. We, I have to tell you, I relied on the butcher to do this. And you should, too. Find a good butcher and let him have a little fun. Because a crown roast of pork, it's really sort of, um, you know, it's, it's a regular pork roast. But it's from the rib section, and it comes from the loin cut. Mm -hmm. So they take a big loin, and they French it. And it's called crown because it resembles just that, a crown. And then it's tied. Oh, look, here it is right here. Just let me show you this. So look at this. This is the bottom end wow. of it. And this, as you can see, is like a crown. So we get that home, roasting pan. We got the oven on about 300, 320 degrees in that range right there. But now we got to season it. So I have some brown sugar. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add a lot of chopped garlic. And this can be done ahead of time. We're going to take fresh thyme, and we'll just sort of strip it off the stem. I have fresh sage, which is right here. And then I have some rosemary as well. And what we're going to do is take the rosemary off the stem as well. Now, you can see I'm saving these stems because it's easy to just put them in the bottom. Oh, okay. No need wasting them. And then these here, what we'll do is we'll just take a little knife and we'll chop this up. So I have brown sugar, garlic, thyme, sage, rosemary. So now what we'll do is we'll put that in our brown sugar and garlic mixture. Have a little salt, some pepper, and olive oil. Now, can't be bad. Any special kind of olive oil? Uh, I'm using, I'm actually, Sharon, I'm using extra virgin. Okay. Um, but any good oil will work, but olive oil is, I prefer. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna lay this on. And then what I do is just sort of let it go right over the side. See that? Yeah, it looks beautiful. And it's seasoned up really, really nice. Now, what we're gonna do, the oven's on. 300, two hours. But that's not all, because what we're gonna do is increase the temperature after the two oh. hours. We're gonna raise the temperature. Usually you lower the temperature. We're gonna raise it to 500 degrees, and we're gonna cook it the last 30 minutes. We're kinda looking for an internal temperature of about 145, okay? Even though they'll tell you 165. 145, you take it out, this big crown roast, it's gonna continue to cook till about 150, and that's gonna be nice and pink. Now, we pull this baby out. Oh, yeah. And what we're gonna do is turn our crown roast over. And that would be the presentation side, right? That would be the presentation mm -hmm. side. Sometimes people wanna put little uh, hats. <laughs> little hats, you can call Mittens. them that, little chef toques. <laughs> we put little chef toques on them. All right, so this goes now for 30 more minutes. And what we're going to do... Should I top it off? Yep, smooth it out a little bit. I guess that's a hint. We're going to let this smooth. rest because you want to have it rest. Now, I've tented. It's very important when you bring roasts, beef, you know, even fish, Brian, you should let it rest for a little bit when you take it out of the oven. And so a lot of people, what they do is they use the, the term tenting. Now, let's see how the magic has happened. Now, we're going to go into the bone and come on down. You want a double chop? Single chop. Single chop. All right, here we go. I'm a girl. Look at this. Michael will take the double. Look at this. Look at how beautiful that is. Wow. Oh. So here we go here. Beautiful, look at that. And when you caramelize at the end, that really seal, helps seal in the moisture. That's exactly that right. Juices. That's exactly what we did. Oh, that looks gorgeous, guys. So what we'll do, we're doing a presentation, guys. We'd put it on a platter. 
that goes our string. And then we would just fan these out, mm -hmm. just like such. 